Should you play Persona 3 Portable? The answer is yes. Here's why. First off, a disclaimer. For this video, I'll be using Katone's story as more features and changes are utilized in her playthrough versus Makoto's. So before you complain saying, well that's in Makoto's story, don't. I already know this, let's move on. Let me begin by saying Persona 3 Portable is not Persona 3. If you're looking for the anime cutscenes, quality audio and graphics, and Agus' story the answer, then this isn't the game for you. All cutscenes have been removed, and audiovisuals are compressed due to the UMD limitations. But with these losses, we are given some quality of life changes. We now have two new difficulties, first being Beginner, which starts you off with 30 plumes of dust. This is just to remind you that if you get a game over, you suck. Also, there's Maniac. This was Atlas's original way to dick kick players before releasing overpriced DLC. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we also now have full control over party members, removing that god awful AI problem that was Marin Karen. Marin Karen! Condition to fight. Can you handle this? Oh, that was me. Alongside this, we can now also guard. Remember DSP suffering at the hands of Charmed and Atlas roasting him in the comments? Guess what? That'll never be your problem. Unless you somehow let that happen, in which case... At least in your suffering though, you can enjoy some kick-ass battle music. Social links for Katoni have received a significant change compared to Makoto's. You can complete male social links without having to romance them. Atlas finally discovered you can be friends with people and not to fuck them all. Real quick, I want to touch up on the fact that I forgot to mention that co-op attacks are now a thing in Persona 3 Portable. What will happen is once you knock down an enemy, there's a chance one of your teammates will follow up with a co-op attack for extra damage. Piggybacking off the social links, with the addition of New Game Plus, we can now choose who we spend our final moments with. Think I guess since Shinji is trash? No, you can use your wrong choices to pick someone else. Speaking of Shinji, in Katani's playthrough, if you max out his social link, you can keep him alive in the end. Which, if this was Makoto's playthrough, would undermine the message and themes. But this is Katone, who is about happiness and enjoying the time we have being alive. AKA, he lived, bitch. Oh yeah, Shidori can also be kept alive, which follows a continuity established with Persona 4 Arena. But just like Atlas showed us by never bringing her back in any games, you don't care. It's all about the husband now. But that's P3P in a nutshell. We lose some aesthetic aspects, but we get a polished gym in the end. That's all I have to say on the matter. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and like to see more, please subscribe with notifications on. If you want to chat or watch me play, come join at twitch.tv slash hobomanifesto. You can follow my Twitter for when I go live. Links will be in the description. And remember, if the fan of things can wear a mask, so can you. Have a good one.